All right, well here we have the two completed heads. This is the HD and this is the LT head. Uh, as you can see, you know, there's an obvious size difference. Rotor blocks are definitely the HD head block is bigger. <clears throat> Blade grips are bigger. It has an 8 millimeter spindle, 7 millimeter spindle. Um, some other obvious differences. The uh, HD head has an adjustable CNC bell mixers where the uh, LT just has a non-adjustable and it's a uh, plastic with some steel balls on it. Um, the only other obvious difference between the two heads <coughs> is uh, the only other difference is the HD has a four millimeter Jesus bolt, the LT has a three millimeter Jesus bolt, and that's why the main shafts are different, the four millimeter and the three millimeter. So, you know, when you're ordering parts, you know, you gotta make sure you get the right main shaft, otherwise you're gonna have the wrong size holes. Um, other than that, um, you wanna make sure, you know, that the, uh, the longer side of the bell mixer goes down to your seesaw. It's on both of them. Shorter side's gonna go down to the swash plate. Um, other things to take a look out for when you're screwing into the plastic grips, you know, make sure you get some CA on that screw. Be careful not to get it on the bearings while you're doing it, so you don't want to lock your bearings up with CA. Um, other than that, that's pretty much the differences. You know, you can see, see the difference there right in front of you. But uh, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the fly bar on. I'm just going to finish with the LT head. I'm going to put the fly bar on, fly bar carrier, and fly bar cage and all that stuff and then also the washout base and the links going down for the server to this wash but I'm not gonna mount this onto the main shaft or anything yet because I don't want to have to flop it around while I'm building the helicopter so uh, we'll do that later and I'll set the links up when I get done so there's the differences okay so now we're gonna move on to page seven of putting the LT head together and this is where we're going to attach the fly bar and the fly bar cage and uh, you know stuff like that so um, we got the fly bar paddles this is out of the next bag in or the next compartment in bag one got the fly bar paddles the links the the screws some set screws the ball links the fly bar cage itself and you will have to get the fly bar out of the uh, bag with the tail boom and stuff like that that's where you'll find that um, again this is you know pretty straightforward just I'm, you're probably going to hear me say this a lot. Just pay attention and you know see what's in the manual and follow the manual. And if uh, there's anything that you need to pay certain attention to, I'll be sure to direct your attention to it. And uh, one thing you're going to want to do before you put these on, because once you assemble this fly bar cage, you have to disassemble it to take these links off again. Is so go ahead and uh, get these sized up to the correct length or at least make sure you've got them the same length so that when you go to adjust the head later you're not trying to guess and make sure that they aren't you know trying to get them the same length and stuff like that so all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff together and we'll mount it up to the head block and we'll take a look at it when we're done all right one part I forgot to mention here is uh this is where one of the addendums come into play um they forgot to put some Brass, wash, brass washers in the uh, production kits I'm assuming so here we have a little packet that has these two little brass washers in there to uh, put on the fly bar and you'll see there they call it out they say on there uh, you know part five on on that page so make sure you get those on there while you're putting the fly bar in all right I did a couple of steps here um, just because they're simple and pretty straightforward but uh, this is the completed LT head now. Um, got the fly bar cage on now. We got the uh, washout base, washout links, servo or the swash plate links coming up from the swash plate to the head. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I mean, if you follow everything, you'll you'll get it. It's uh, not too difficult to understand. So. Um, <clears throat> you want to make sure you get your links all sized up and so this swash plate will move up and down nice and smooth. Um, I still got a little bit of work to do on mine but not much. Um, key things that you want to do when you're setting up the head. You want to start with all of the paired links. Washout links, the swash to blade mixer arm links, the links from the mixer arms down to the seesaw. Get them all paired up at the same length. And just you know go by the manual and use those links 
and get them as close as you can but just make sure you know they're all the same length and then never change just one always change them in pairs that way you're you're not putting any type of offset into anything or of anything of that nature now when you're uh, when you do the mixer arms at zero pitch you want this mixer arm to be level straight across and you can use the the guide here you know the the molding and the blade grip to see that you want to have make sure your seesaw or your washout arms are uh, perpendicular to the main shaft as well you know obviously get your swash plate level and, and whatnot so you know just take your time setting up the head after you get your servos installed and everything you know get everything the helicopter is only going to fly as good as you get it set up on the bench so this is one step you should really take your time with and get it right get everything nice and smooth and free moving and all nice even throws and whatnot so all right so now we get to move on to the build of the uh, the frame build so we'll go ahead and do that I'm going to set the head aside I'm not going to put it on like I said uh, I will need the main shaft to uh, install the gear to do stuff like that so um, we'll be back and start building on the frame Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, the uh, Century helicopter heads all have adjustable phasing. It's one single, you'll see this ring right here, I just loosened it up so you could see. Um, it's, it, I like that because then it allows you to adjust for different battle paddles and blade combinations because sometimes those just have interactions in them and throws the phasing off a little bit. But a good place to start is where the set screw is, you'll see uh, the the recess cut here in the head just center it up on that for now and then until you can get out and start flying and, and seeing if you got any phasing issues or anything of that nature so you know just keep in mind that that's an adjustable phasing ring so if you see it doing anything funny in the air you can come down and tweak on that a little bit all right we'll go to the frame now <laughs> 